Are you keeping up with the Joneses by picking a boat that your buddy has? Or should you make your own choice? Stick around to find out what boat is right for you. Hi, I'm Sean from Lens Cove Lessons in Boating. Before you get into which type of boat, a lot of people need a little bit of coaching, we find, with figuring out what's the right boat for them. You're new to boating or you're thinking about getting into boating. And a lot of times you have experiences or a need that drive this thought process. Maybe you're sitting around at home in the summer and you just want to get out and be more active. Great. Maybe you watch a fishing show and you think, oh, that would be amazing. I, I think I'd love to do that. It'll give me something to do on the weekends. Awesome. Or maybe you've been invited out with your buddy and they take you out with their family and you go on a day and you come back and you're sunburnt and you're exhausted and you just have these great memories from the day and you think, wow, maybe we could be one of those families too. Those are all great reasons and needs that need to be fulfilled and why people get into boating. A lot of the time we find people come in and they ask, do you have any bow riders available? Or I'm looking for a pontoon. And the reason is that they've been influenced by perhaps their friends. What does their buddy have? What does their next door neighbor have? What are some of the things they've seen on social media people doing? And I think what we need to do is stay, take a step back and really ask some questions. So on today's video, we're not gonna go into really technical things about boats. If you wanna know a little bit more about each boat type, check out this video here, where we go over probably some of the most 15 to 20 different boat types that are most popular and a little bit about each. Watch that video after this one, because we're gonna talk more about the theoretical need of why you want a certain type of boat. Who's gonna be boating? Is this a solo venture? Are you out in the boat by yourself to escape, you know, everybody in your life and, and get away from it all and just have some time on your own? Is this a family venture where you're taking out your family and is that what's driving you? Is that three people? Is that six people? Is that eight people? Or is this about friends? Are you thinking there's a couple and you wanna take out another couple or is it that you think you might want to go boating and bring your family of five and another family of five. The most important thing you're going to want to think about is who's going to be there. The second thing you're going to want to think about is where. So the where of your boating is critically important because what is a great boat for 10 people on a small inland lake in Michigan is a completely different boat for 10 people in the Gulf of Mexico. So the where of you're going to do your boating is the next thing to think about. Am I going to trailer it to small lakes and canals? Am I going to keep it in a dock at a large marina on a large body of water? What is your where will really help you narrow down. The next thing you want to think about is, as Simon Sinek says, why? And the why is What's the purpose of the boat? Is it to become more active and you want to try a bunch of water sports and you want to you know, get out fishing or you want to be able to cruise and swim and do all kinds of things? Why do you want a boat? Is it social? Is it all about being at a marina, a place on a lake or have visitors and bring groups of people together? So really dig down into what's driving your decision to want to buy a boat because the why of your boating is going to have a big impact on it. And then lastly, and this is probably what drives most people's decisions is your budget. And I'm not just talking about your budget on the boat itself. What's your overall boating budget? We have a video that you can find here that goes over the different costs involved in boating and between the purchase price, the maintenance, the repairs, the fuel, the insurance, and then the depreciation and eventual sale of the boat. What does boating cost you? And you think about that number. How much disposable income do you have to spend on boating? because boating costs money every year. And once you know all those things, the easiest way for you to determine what the right boat is, is go to a dealer you trust. Find a dealer that sells boats and tell them all those things that you've just figured out. Who, where, what, and why, and your budget. 
If you have all those things mapped out for a dealer, they're going to be able to really hone in and help you out. What's really interesting is that you can pick a situation where what's good for five people in a different location with a different budget, uh, with different wants, is a pontoon boat. And you can take those same five people in a different location with different wants and why with a different budget and their boat is a 50 foot yacht. It really is important to have all those pieces of the puzzle in your mind or written down before you start shopping because the right boat for you may be a pontoon boat like your neighbor has, but then you didn't really open yourself up to the idea that you might want to be surfing. So one of my biggest pieces of advice if you're thinking about getting into boating is to not go directly to the listing of boats in order to find the right boat. You might want to go to a listing on dealer's websites and on Kijiji and Craigslist and Boat Trader to give you an idea of budget, what's out there and what do things cost. But I would suggest reaching out to a dealer that you found, maybe your friends in your neighborhood have, have someone who really took great care of them. Or maybe you see in your area that there's a five-star marine industry certified dealer just five minutes from where you want a boat. Ask for an appointment with a professional and go with all these ideas in hand and have that conversation. Thanks for joining us on today's Lens Cove Lessons in Boating. Make sure you subscribe to get on board for more of these type of videos. If you like today's video, make sure you throttle that like button, get out on the water, have fun, and stay safe.